Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Europa Universalis 4. This is going to be the second episode of the day, just like yesterday, although it's not going to come out as late. Um, we are currently in the process of integrating the Illuinec. And you're wondering if you just come on, came onto the series why they suddenly own all these provinces. What we have done is we have granted these provinces so that they could, so because Illinois they could take Michigan, so I gave them Michigan. Because Michigan was the fox, and I gave them Ottawa, so I gave them Ottawa. Now we're integrating them into our nation. We can uh, take back our diplomat. We don't need him. That's just an extra diplomat that's pretty much useless now. But we will be integrating the Illinois, which will be giving us an extra province. The province of Illinois. The Illinois, I mean. And uh, we will just be expanding. In this episode, I hope to receive the two next tech groups, our level 3 tech group for um, admin power and uh, level 2 or admin uh, administrative uh, tech and my uh, level 2 tech for uh, diplomatic tech. So, as the game progresses, it should t said it would take us 60 diplo power to annex them, so... Yeah, our truce has ended. Oh well. I don't really care about our truce. I mean, they're not going to declare war on us at a relation of 200. Seriously, that's how much they liked us. Anyway. So it's not... Uh, yeah. So... Yeah, then we're just going to be basically expanding our nation and uh, making it more and more powerful. Our next conquest might simply just be the uh, Iroquois over here. Because what I'll have to do is, what I'll do, I think, is take two provinces from them in one war, which I won't be able to core. But in the next war, vassalize the next two provinces, so vassalize them. Give them that province, like Toronto or Niagara. Integrate them, those two provinces will be a core, and then just core Cayuga and Onondaga. And see, then I have a prov then I have a country of 12 provinces. Which is amazing, because the Cherokee... 6 plus 4, you can only get 10 provinces over here. Okay, don't haven't they already claimed Niagara? The only two provinces they can claim are Niagara and Toronto, and seriously, you can't really take them because you can't core them. Oh, wait. Yes, that is right. I can't take Hayuga and Onondaga because I can't core them. Right. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to vassalize them in one war. Since we'll be double their size, I believe we might actually be able to do it. So, uh, don't worry about a thing. I mean, we'll be getting the Iroquois and we'll be a giant Huron nation. But the, the strategy I'm using right here is just such an obscure strategy. I mean, whenever you see the Huron when you're coming over on your little boats from Europe, all you see is just the Huron owning these provinces because really the AI isn't smart enough to think, wait a minute, if I vassalize them, give them Ottawa, and then integrate them, then I could have another province. So I'm just doing that just for, I guess, just to expand. We're over halfway done with our integration. Let's look at our tech and see how close we are. See, we are pretty close, but January 1488, 1485, so wow. So lose Diplo power, lose militarism. Yeah, I'll use that. I mean, I want the Diplo power so I can get my tech, which gives us a better trade range, plus a hundred. And informed by a diplomat of the Iroquois has been discovered while building a spy network. Diplomat was expelled. It is in size of 75. Okay. Okay, maybe I should start claiming. Eh, I won't do that. We're not going to go to war with them yet. We're going to be doing that next episode, so I might do that at the end of the episode. But seriously, we will be getting our Diplo tech a lot later than our admin tech, because if you look at our government, 1138. You know, I probably should make this our uh, national focus, but I want the admin tech so I can get the idea of, uh, what is it, exploration, get the colonist, expand my nation. Because you can't do much as a Native American if you can't colonize, and you're bound to just end up losing late game 
if you can't colonize because you're not a big country. It's not easy to westernize. So, yeah. I mean, I just want to uh, make my nation as powerful as it can be. Anyway, uh, let's just... Oh, the Chickasaw took over and the Cherokee are rebelling, but they'll probably be able to quickly get rid of the Cherokee. I wouldn't be surprised. But this is what the uh, America looks like right now. I mean, the Apache gained independence. Wow, and the Navajo are... Oh, integrating. Oh, we integrated them. Perfect. Perfect. And look, if you guys don't know, we keep our cores on Ottawa and Michigan. But, we get a cure on the Illinois. Let's change the culture to Huron. Change the culture. And we're losing money. We're losing six ducats. What I will do with this three stack from Illinois is I will get rid of them. We will be making that much money. My army force limit. How is it only nine? I had an army force limit of ten earlier. Hmm. Oh, well. And I guess I have to get rid of a soldier. Split him in half. Disband him. Okay, yeah. So I'll have nine soldiers. And we're making almost a duck in a month. Let's look at our tech, because we should be getting that soon, since... We got, uh, it's the middle of the year in 1484. We get our tech in November 1485. So, our general's dead? Okay. Well, when we go to war, we'll get another general then. But it doesn't look like we need a, like, a general as immediately as possible right now. But something I kind of found weird is how just sharp and pointy all the American borders are. Well, as so there's really no way to... You can't just own these two provinces without it looking terrible. You gotta take that province as well. Like, it just looks weird to me. I don't know. Gain a traitor. Okay, whatever, a traitor. That's good. So you can see we got these uh, forts. They're mothballed currently, so we don't have to spend maintenance on them. But the reason we mothballed them is just because, really, I want forts just in case we ever have to go to war. That uh, it'll take them a bit longer to uh, actually uh, attack us. Anyway, uh, we got oh, two thousand admin power. Oop. Yup. So, November of this year, we will be getting our tech. And then November of three years later, we will be getting that tech. So, yeah, let's... April. Okay, it's April right now in the uh, game, so... Micmac, yes. So, like I made a, I made a comment in my first ever video on this series that... Basically, if you played as the Creek or whoever down here, you wouldn't you wouldn't necessarily know about the rest of North America, which is what I think would have would actually be the case. I mean, the Huron might know a bit about the people down here and the Iroquois and the Shawnee. They might know a bit of them, but Really, I don't think that you would, like, the Micmac would know about the hiata up here. It just doesn't seem a bit real, it doesn't seem realistic. Like, I mean, it, j it just doesn't seem realistic to me because, I mean, I don't know. Did the Native Americans keep maps? I don't know. Probably not. And even if they kept maps, they wouldn't want to send a person all the way across North America just to discover what's over there because I don't know. Really, maybe if you guys know how like realistic this like Native American knowing the entire North America is, yeah, just tell me. I mean, 
They probably wouldn't know of the stuff up here since there's no one there to even tell them where it is. But yeah, let's just continue. Um, oh, tech. Let's get our tech, and basically, at the turn of the turn of the century, we will get a we will get our fourth uh, power. So I mean. So really, I'm guessing around 1520 we will be able to colonize. So, but there's a ton of just early game stuff that you just have to, it's just stupid. You have to wait. And so we are a zero, in our technology group, we are uh, actually, uh, actually uh, right on time. Right on time here. And if we get our uh, bark technology soon, we will be right on time there as well. Will be a three two two, and will be uh, as it's just that. Oh, how are these guys ahead of me? These guys are a two 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 tech. Yeah. Wait, wait. What? What was that symbol? What was that symbol? What was that symbol? Level of Rick revenge. Okay. Let's look at our religious. All our provinces have the same religion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's continue the game, and uh, yeah, let's just continue. I mean, really early, early game. There's not much to do, and um, probably people are probably going to be si skipping through these episodes because there really isn't much to do early game. But it, the game actually gets interesting later on, so you gotta uh, get through it. You just, you just gotta uh, sort of power through it. You can't really... I... Really, um, most games I've played, I, like, the farthest I've ever gotten in a game is, like, 1632 or something like that. Because, really, late game, it's just the game's been going on for so long, the borders get old. I just want to start a new game, but, yeah. But this game will probably go to 1821. Especially if it gets interesting, because... I don't think I've played a Native American game past, like, 15, middle of the 1500s, because I know I've been able to colonize before. And we just changed the culture in Illinois. We don't have any rebels, and we have lost the training tobacco effect, okay. Let's go military, no, tech. So we should be able to get our tech soon enough. And then we will start claiming, we will start claiming the Iroquois, so basically we can, so we'll start claiming the Iroquois so we can actually take from them. I mean, then vassalize them. Would we be able to release any nations? I mean, really? Wait, what? No, no, no. So no, we wouldn't be able to release any nations. But with the uh, Lenape over here, we would be able to we would be able to release the uh, Susquehannock, which were on this province, Susquehanna, which isn't that or that capital of the U.S. If you start off later date, something I don't know. But yeah. Uh, Oh, it's next year we get our tech. Not not this year. It's 1487, right? Let's look at our tech. And make sure we're doing fine. We got October 1488. So that's not November anymore. That's good. So let's just uh get through this. Let's just wait and see if we can actually get this tech because we should be able to get the tech. If we get it, March, April, oh my god, this is, this is going to take a long, long time, and, I mean, seriously, our admin tech's going to be at, like, 10 or something, and this is going to be at, like, 5 or 6. Yeah, so... 
July, April, July, August, September, October, August. So then we got September and then we got October. Okay, I don't care about Iroquois because really you'd only be able to claim Toronto and Niagara and you're not really going to declare war, are you? We have... Oh, we can take the bark. Okay. Okay, so we're 5% behind on tech. 2,100. So that'll take us about 210... Less than 210 months. Maybe like 200 months. Yeah. So, that pretty much covers it. I mean, this is probably going to be a short episode since there's really not much to do until we start attacking the Iroquois. But what I am going to do is build a spy network in Iroquois, claim maybe Cayuga and Onondaga. If I can't take them, maybe I'll just... If I can't actually take them, maybe I'll just uh, annex them or vassalize them, get them to like us, and then at least annex them when we get enough territory. I don't know. But yeah, the Iroquois. Our rivals, maybe we'll vassalize them because I don't think they can stay our rivals, Mahican. Seriously, their Mahican rivaled them? I mean, that's not really a rival. That's not really a fair fight, even. Let's go back to Huron. So we are allied with the Shawnee and we have a Huron humiliate rival. Wait, yeah, we can declare war on the Iroquois. So. Pretty much, let's just, you know, so we're building up our spy network, and, so we're building up our spy network, and uh, let's just make this decision, base tax, manpower, or production. Um, we got a bit of manpower, we got a bit of, eh, do we need money? Yeah, let's raise taxes. But, we made that decision, um, next we're going to... There's a huge sound in the background. It's a terrible sound. Oh, that gave us a ton of... That's That was actually a really good dis decision. Well, not really a decision, but a thing that it gave us. Anyway, so we uh, got the uh, Illinois. We got our two techs. And let's just see where we are on the tech tree now. Our military tech's gonna... Gonna have to go up a bit. But yeah, anyway... I'll see you guys in the next episode. Be sure to hit that like button down below if you want to see more of this series. Trust me, it will be, be way more interesting. Um, if you guys want to see, if you guys want to see something in particular, maybe you could leave a comment down below. And and if you uh, just enjoyed the video, uh, if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Um, hitting that subscribe button helps me, and you get to see all my latest episodes. So I'll see you guys in the next episode, and uh, bye.